Without jumping into a debate, let's talk about loudness when mastering and what you can do with the tools you already have in Cubase to get a loud master if you need to. Hey, what's up, my friend? The Chris Elim here from Mixdown Online. Let's start this one up and talk about loudness. I'm gonna share with you a very cool trick that you can do in Cubase or any other DAW that is gonna help you to get a loud master without the hard effects and the overcompressed effect and pumping that someone can get if pushing it too hard when mastering, you know? So uh, this is what I wanna show you in this video. I'm not gonna get into the loudness debate uh, when it comes to the loudness war and everything, you know, I'm a bit more myself, a bit more conservative when it comes to loudness when mastering. I like to keep it loud, but also uh, a bit dynamic at the same time to get the best of both worlds. But it's gonna happen sometimes that I'm gonna need to, uh, to work a loud master, you know, to accommodate a client uh, that is gonna demand for a loud master for whatever reason, you know? And sometimes it's gonna be an artistic decision because the song and the production and the mix, you know, is gonna sound pretty good if I push it to be a bit louder. But in the end, as far as it sounds good, this is what it counts. So if I need to, uh, to work on a master that has to be loud, I wanna make sure that I'm getting the best results possible without ending with pumping effects artifacts. So let's jump in Cubase and check this out together. Uh, okay, so basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use stuck plugins out of Cubase, and this is something you can do with any plugins you have, whatever the you're working with. So I'm basically going to use two limiters, okay, to, uh, to work on the loudness of the master. Uh, and this is going to share the load of limiting. Uh, and this is what's going to help to get a loud master without any pumping effect and artifacts uh, for the most part. So let's try it out with the first limiter. And the goal with this first limiter is to shave off the peaks. Okay, so let's try it out. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up to a gain reduction of a couple of dBs, you know. You know, something like that is going to be good. Okay, so there you go. So I think this is going to be good enough just to control the peaks so I can actually tell that it's working on the snare, the kick. And I can do this with any type of limiter, okay? And again, the parameters that I'm gonna use is gonna depend on the song that I am mastering. Now, next, I'm gonna jump on a second uh, limiter, and this one is called Razor. It came out in Cubase 12. It's a very nice limiter, um, and the release side of it is very, very cool because it gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to the release time. Uh, so there's a choice between um, doing things manually with also the control over the initial release phase that you can uh, put faster or slower. Uh, and the cool thing is also the detect inner sample clipping, uh, which is going to make sure that you are not going to go above your ceiling point. Okay, so very, very important. And I always activate this one in mastering. Uh, so manual mode with the release time, you'll have full control over the release time. Uh, you have automatic also, which is like it says, gonna automate the release time. You can, you have also restricted minimum. So uh, in this case, uh, it's gonna be in automatic mode. However, uh, the release time will not go below 80 milliseconds in this case, okay? And same for restricted max, which is gonna do the opposite. In this case, it's not gonna go above 80 milliseconds. And the one I'm gonna use for this master is aggressive, which is actually very nice. From what I can understand it's an ultra fast release time uh, which is going to make the master sound uh, a bit more punchier a bit more in your face uh, without pumping effect you know that you can end up getting uh, with limiting on the mastering stage you know if you're not careful i'm just going to bring the gain to zero so let's try this out That's pretty cool. And 
This will take care of the loudness of the overall sound. It's the last limiter in the chain. Another cool thing I have with this limiter is the compare, which will reduce the output level. Uh, so when you bypass the plugin, it's gonna level up with the signal before hitting that plugin, okay? Which is good if you wanna compare uh, the before and after uh, and the effect that the limiter is gonna do without the change of volume. So if I bypass the plugin. I'm not ending up with pumping effect, uh, which is very nice. So the end result is gonna be a bit more smooth, transparent, and also loud at the same time. So you can achieve the same thing, you know, using one limiter, but look what's gonna happen if I wanna use uh, the same plugin, let's use Razer with the same parameters, you know, the aggressive release time, and uh, try to push it to get the same amount of loudness that I have using two limiters. And we'll compare both, you know, to see you know, which one sounds the best. Somewhere around this is gonna be good. Okay, let's compare both. So, you know, Razer on its own is not too bad. You know, I can hear a bit more saturation going on and some pumping also. It's not as clean. Uh, if I try the same using the um, regular limiter in Cubase, same thing. You know, I'm going to get the same type of thing. So let's try it out. Okay, so, you know, whatever I do with the uh, the settings uh, using one limiter, you know, with these limiters, uh, you know, I'm getting more artifacts, a bit more saturation, pumping, you know, uh, and by using two limiters, you know, to share off the load, I'm getting a way more transparent sound, which is great if I want to end up with a louder master without compromising too much on the sound quality. And this is something you can definitely try out if you master your own music or master for other people's music. And for some reason you need a loud master, you can try this one out. And if you do, let me know how it goes. Now there's other things that can be done to add perceived loudness to a master. And my good friend Domsi Galas made a video on loudness. I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna watch it. Even if these two limiters, a part of Cubase, gives me very good results, uh, some other limiters with more parameters and more features uh, when it comes to limiting are gonna give me even better results, you know? So if you want me to share with you uh, my favorite limiters when it comes to mastering, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a video talking about this. All right, my friend, let me know if you have any questions or comments, leave everything down below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Until next time, take care and see you.